They look pretty same to me. Cho Changs. <laughs> What is up guys? So I got my camshafts back from being degreed. And they're right here. Got the um, trick flow adjustable crank gears that are actually pinned to the proper um, timing. It was found that these were like way off. So <laughs> got my cams in there all assembled already and now they have to go in this. I haven't seen this in a while, have you? I need to look up all the procedures because I forget what I did. And then, uh, they get torqued in and bolted in and the engine can go back in the car once it's back together right here and then i'm pretty much done with that aspect of it anyway i need to paint the bay again though because i decided i was going to uh grind it all down <laughs> and stitch weld the whole car let's do this okay so i have the adjustable crank gear here now the teeth are marked for the um, timing chain to go on and this is where the keyway is so my question is, where does this go? Does this go behind it or in front of it? Oh boy. Is this where the keyway goes on that one? Can I put it at zero? I'm so confused. I'm just real confused. I don't know if this makes any sense. God, I'm gonna have to look at his email now. Keep all the pistons safely under the deck to avoid any possible piston or valve interference during installation. With the keyway at nine, you can spin the cams. Okay, the correct keyway slot is marked and will correspond to the right side cam gear. Corresponding crank gear teeth that will get the dark line on the timing chains are both marked in red marker as well. From the top, for the top, simply use the OE timing dot on the cam sprockets. Ah, okay, what the fuck? Where does that go? I'm real confused. Confused, real confused. Okay, hey, so that's that. That's where that goes. But what about... <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, so I have it set at nine o'clock so that I'll allow all of the pistons to clear the valves when I put the cams in. This little timing gear here is convenient, conveniently marked for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these cams in.
Okay, so these are now torqued down. Um, I have to set them all to top dead center, wherever that might be. And uh, I have the crank set at nine o'clock, stated by Jordan at Modular Head Shop, um, which will allow me to freely move these camshafts around to uh, not hit any valves or anything. So I'm gonna do that now. This one looks like it's probably in the right area. This one is 180 off, I think. Something like that. They look pretty same to me. Toe chains. <laughs> Back to reality here. <clears throat> So now I just need to uh, paint the front cover, make it look a little better, put that on, and then everything goes back together. It's coming together, people. Tom helped me, so I would like to thank Tom. I've never worked on one of these engines before, and uh, I have no idea how to time it. He came to the rescue, thank God. So now this engine is basically done. Uh, well, so now that it's timed, everything will just go back together, um, front cover, all that stuff so so that's it for today's video hope you liked it the car's coming along it's almost movable i guess all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time <laughs> <laughs>